Hey loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart. Cross watchers are also welcome. If you're new here, welcome to the community. If you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you for tuning in. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, all of my info is in the description box below. If you're new here, know that I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So we're going to tap into your collective messages now. I've already done a pre-shuffle for you <clears throat> so that it wouldn't take too long to shuffle on camera. So we'll do some oracle cards, get into your tarot, and clarify each of those. Okay, Taurus, spirit, your spirit messages Spirit is saying abundance is on your side. Wow. Okay. I see you making an investment into something that will secure your future as well as your family's future. I'm feeling like a, a crowning, like you are physically and or spiritually, energetically birthing something new into your life. I feel like you're, you've recently been in a gestation period for the past nine to 10 months, maybe even nine to ten years for some of you and it's now time for you to give birth to something okay Taurus spirit is saying you are blessed there is a beautiful energy that is surrounding you right now and you are flourishing I love to I love to hear this I'm in your energy it feels so beautiful and fluid and there's a lot of movement and progression and so I'm feeling lovely I feel like I'm, I'm seeing a white light around some of you as well it feels like things are looking up because I feel like some of you have just gone through something, something that was life changing for you. And I do feel that there is a really beautiful shift that is happening. OK, I pulled uh, your angel numbers. If you are seeing these numbers or um, if you're seeing these numbers, these are validation that good luck is on your side. If you're seeing seven, seven, seven. OK, good luck is on your side. This is about contentment, prosperity, abundance, spiritual awakening, divine intervention, all of the things that I'm feeling for you. This message is most likely to reach you during intense and in uncertainty. You'll come out winning from everything that you may have come that may have come your way. It's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share, yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get the message to others. Okay, 777, the other card that I pulled for you that just flew out of the deck. If you're seeing 1144, this is about high vibes, high vibrations, divine intervention, prosperity. I mean, I can't make this up. Abundance, prosperity keeps coming up. Big ventures, faded events, faith, purpose, higher calling. Love or other happiness lurks just around the corner. It will be something much better than in your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minded people will exceed your expectations. Okay, so these are your angel numbers. 1144, 777, high vibes and good luck. Yes, okay. And then we have... A, um, a chakra that you can work on um, during this time frame here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your heart chakra is what you can work on and focus on your connection. Okay, connection with self, connection with other people. 26 breaks down to an 8. So this is about balance, wealth, abundance, prosperity, manifestations, OK, focusing on that, connecting to your inner guidance, connecting to other people. So if some of you have been in solitude or been isolated. This is an opportunity to connect, connect to the energy of your heart, which is all about love, interconnectedness, universal oneness. It's about support. OK, so focusing on your support system during this time, really focusing on that heart shock. I'm, I'm even feeling like eating more green foods. So adding more green foods to your diet wearing the color green, bringing plant life into your house um, so that it's a reminder for you to reconnect to your heart. The color green and the color uh, rose pink is connected to the heart space. It's also about compassion, self-love, self-care. So this month is all about love, 
and adventure is what spirit is saying as well. I'm hearing for you to get grounded as well. So you're tapping into the heart center that balances the upper and lower chakras. That is the core of your being as a human, right? To really tap into that universal oneness that lies within the heart space. So that is a chakra that you can work on during this month, focusing on your abundance manifestation, focusing on balance. Um, a crystal that you can work with, look at that peridot. And the funny thing is, it's green, okay? We're, we have love, like we talk about the heart, then we have peridot, which would be connected to the heart space. This, your affirmation for this is, good fortune is the result of good thoughts and actions. I am grateful for my blessings. And this is a reminder for you to be grateful during this time and moving forward, especially for those of you that have gone through something that has been life-changing. This is a time to be in gratitude for your breath for your life, for the love that and the support that you already have in your life so far. When connecting with this stone, this stone can help you release feelings of impatience, jealousy, and frustration, improve ability to integrate and process life, connect to inner strength and unlimited potential. Okay, Peridot is your stone for the month. And <clears throat> excuse me, a message to consider during this time frame is you're very close to achieving your goal. Love it. Very close to achieving your goal. We are in eclipse season. And if some of you have experienced that eclipse energy we had, we just had on April 8th, it was a new moon in Aries. We just had a full moon in Libra. Um, we had a, we had a partial, we had a lunar eclipse. We had a total solar eclipse. If you did watch the solar eclipse um, on April 8th, let me know in the description box below. Did you have any side effects? Did you have any um, revelations? Whatever, what was, you, what was your experience like looking at it? It was super cool. I wasn't in totality view, but I did watch it live from Mazatlan and it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. I did see the one in 2017 um, up close and personal, so that was definitely life changing. But let me know in the comment section below if you have had if it has had any impact on your life but you're very close to achieving your goals okay and for some of you that is going to be financial goals some of you that is love that is personal growth that is self-love but i really feel an energy of you taking care of yourself during this time your overall energy for this month is the six of fire look at this this is about victory like I love this energy for you. It's like an oh, like I feel overwhelmed because there's so much good that I feel that it's around you. This is about you being tri triumphant and victorious and you making progress and building self-confidence, self-worth, self-love, being successful, achieving your goals, being the best at whatever it is that you put your mind to. You're going to be outshining others, okay? And that's not to be in competition, but you're going to be moving past circumstances that left you feeling like you were left behind okay so there's going to be rewards and recognition you feeling accomplished um, good news is coming in okay that good news is coming in so whether that is you making an investment or you're able to take out an investment but there's something that whatever it is that you've been focused on I feel like it's going to be birth it's going to come to fruition okay so they're going to be like I said recognition or awards, feeling accomplished, feeling like you have, you're no longer defeated by circumstances, you're no longer defeated by life or a relationship or a job. I just feel a sense of freedom that's coming from you. And then number six, <clears throat> excuse me, the number six is all about creativity. It's about love. It is about reconnecting. It is about, I'm hearing, putting the puzzle pieces together from the past, like some of the things that you experienced had regardless of how challenging it may have been for you, Taurus, it definitely feels like it was a learning lesson for you. And now you have overcome that. So that is the overall energy. I'm going, I'm going to pull the rest of your cards and then um, we'll clarify each of these. All right. So messages for Taurus, please. And I'm feeling a lot of heat coming from you guys. Like, that could be a lot of passion, a lot of desire. That could just be spirit being, beings that are surrounding you, watching over you, which is, we always have that, but being aware of that as well. 
So we have the Ace of Swords, the Empress, Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Moon. All right, so we are definitely going to clarify these as well. Let's move this here. So I'm going to clarify that um, overall energy that we just talked about, that Six of Fire. All right, I'll take it. Look at that double confirmation here. Six of, six of Wands, Six of Fire came out again, the world. Oh, Taurus, <clears throat> things are definitely about to change in your favor. And I'm hearing you are highly favored. Okay, so you're coming to a completion of something. There's a beginning that has started. You're integrating things that you've learned, things that you've been through in order to make progress, in order to be seen, in order for the universe to work in your favor here with the Six of Wands. So there's a, a sense of accomplishment. Some of you may even be traveling, which is part of your desires and passions to connect with people, connect to um, different cultures. So that could be coming up for you. The sky is the limit. Sky is the limit. Okay. That's what I'm feeling for you. You're going to be asking yourself or feeling a sense of what being whole means to you. Because we know the journey is never over. Everything is a lesson, of course. But there's a lot of opportunity that's coming up for you. You're going to be celebrating life. Full awareness, knowledge, having everything that you need to get by. And I feel like you're going to be seen for that with the Six of Wands. Then we have the Eight of Wands here. So there's a lot of fiery, passionate energy here. Like I said, this is double confirmation here. The World and the Eight of, uh, eight of Wands of traveling coming up and you being able to afford traveling you can go where you want to go because again financial opportunities are coming in for you you are going to be living in this energy of feeling like you're living in your parallel world of abundance but that becomes your current paradigm okay so that is this overall energy of a level of success and recognition and love and connectedness interconnectedness oneness and support that is that is coming up for you abundance high vibes good luck is definitely on your side all right so an obstacle or challenge that could be light that could lie ahead for you is the ace of swords okay some of you could be feeling reluctant to move forward or, re or in your head about the amount of success and abundance that could be coming into your life okay it could leave you a little stifled that's what i'm hearing for some of you so, you know, some of you may be a little uncomfortable with change, okay? And that's that's fine. That's a that's a normal the human response to change because change feels uncomfortable to you because it is the unknown. But there may be something that could be revealed to you during this time or there could be a breakthrough. Either way, I feel like it could be an energy of you um, sort of limiting yourself. And that doesn't mean that you're going to necessarily stop yourself from doing something, but it just could be thoughts that could be coming up for you. We have the Ten of <clears throat> ten of Wands and then we have the Death card here. So an obstacle for some of you is feeling overworked and maybe even overburdened when it comes to uh, your family or, you know, a relationship or a job or something that you have been working on. Um, I do feel like some of you may be feeling blocked in some sort of way, but I feel really, I don't really feel this to be, it's going to be a challenge for some of you, but the way that I'm seeing it is that this breakthrough of whatever has, that has been heavy, the 10 is also saying there's going to be a new beginning. So there's an opportunity for a transformation for you to transition. So Maybe some of you have to move. Maybe you're forced to move somewhere, forced to relocate, and it feels uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, it feels like that is probably going to be the best decision that you can make for yourself or for your family. So if you are struggling with that notion of what do I do next, I feel like the universe is going to provide a way for you, and it may seem a little uncomfortable and challenging for you in a way because maybe you don't have enough finances or maybe you don't know where to go or it's not a place you exactly want to be, but I do feel like it is where, you, where you're supposed to be. I feel like it's wherever you end up is where you're supposed to be, okay? Wheel of Fortune. Wow, you guys are, this is insane, okay? The Wheel of Fortune. So 
whatever you have been going through has been something that was karmic that you needed to go through to get through, but it feels like this is the end of it. And some of you may have a hard time letting go of things because of comfort um, and because of maybe how it once made you feel. But there has been a shift that has happened for you, Taurus, and I feel like it is time for you to move past that. Okay, I do feel like things are going to be changing, turning in your favor, but you have to trust. I'm hearing trust the system. Okay, trust, trust what the universe is providing you. Trust the accuracy of even if it feels challenging that this is what the universe is providing for you in this moment. Okay, so you may have a new idea or a truth that is sparked within you and it may seem scary. The fear may may rise to the surface again for you, but know that everything is going to be okay. I feel like I'm hearing spirits say, I'm moving you out of harm's way. And for some of you, it's because there could, there was an, an energy of feeling overworked, burdened, feeling like you had a lot of responsibility. You're, you've been stressed um, about things. Like there's a lot of heavy baggage where you may have, feel, feel, may have felt oppressed which is for some of you that oppression lies dormant on a cellular level because it is past life energy or it is energy from your childhood, whatever that is, I feel like you're overcoming it. And it feels uncomfortable for the change because it's the unknown, obviously. And you've been living with this your whole life. So you're like, now I have to change. Like it's, that's, it's fearful. Okay, so I totally get it but you're going to be just fine. Okay, so that's an obstacle or challenge for you where you're headed during this month and beyond the Empress, your energy, also Libra as well. Um, stability. You're headed towards stability, building a life of luxury and beauty and abundance and love. And, and we talk about fertility with this as well. When I said at the beginning that some of you are birthing something new, you're crowning OK, I, I feel like you, I feel like you're ex, you're expanding in some sort of way. And some of you may be physically pregnant or, you know, conceiving. And some of you are literally birthing something new, a whole new world. OK, a whole new world for you. OK, so you're focused on yourself, beauty. Remember, I said bringing more um, green foods into your diet. You're focused on your inner world so that your outer world becomes what what you're radiating inward. You're focused on your divine femininity here, nurturing yourself. This could be you nurturing other people as well. But I feel a lot of growth that is coming up for you, Taurus. A lot of growth and change. Why is the Empress here? Wow. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Okay. So the Nine of Pentacles reminds me of the Empress, but the Empress is the ultimate mother, okay? The ultimate abundance here. But this is you're like you're you're on your way to financial stability. I feel like you're gaining wisdom. You're taking all of the things that you've learned and you're applying it to your life. Some of I'm like, I'm even hearing some of you are teaching. You're teaching others. So maybe you may be motivational speakers. Um, you may decide to have a change in career, but I do feel like an, a connectedness, like you're connecting with other people, like-minded individuals. And I think we said that earlier in one of the angel cards, um, it was the um, 777 um, where you're connecting with like-minded individuals somewhere. I was, I was saying that, but anyhow, you're headed towards this energy of creating a life of luxury, whatever that looks to you, looks like for you. Doesn't necessarily mean fancy cars and big houses, but some of you may be purchasing multiple homes. You may have a beautiful car that you love. You're, I'm feeling like you may be giving back in some sort of way. Ace of Wands energy here too, which definitely points to you're feeling inspired as where, you, where you're headed. You're going to be creating new things, starting new things, Really tapping into your divine spark, those primal energies where you can express that in a tangible way. You um, 
are in this place where life is thriving and you, I mean, you, you're excited about life. You're excited about the new beginnings and where life is going and business and all of those things. So there's a lot that you are creating and I feel it so strongly for you, Taurus. Things are changing in a very beautiful way. So do not fear, fear the change. Let the challenge come up or the obstacle. Feel it and move past it because on the other side of that challenge is the most beautiful life, the most beautiful world that you can create for yourself, whatever that looks like for you, okay? I do feel like things have been moving slowly for you, but things are about to shift. Things are about to shift for you, okay? So there's new opportunities that are definitely coming in, and this is because you have been doing the work, you have been growing, you have been shedding, people, places, things, situations, energy blockages. You've been shedding all of that and now spirit, the universe, source, whatever it is that you call it, is offering you an opportunity to create a life of abundance and love. Okay, so that is where you're headed. What's happening in your near future is the two of wands coming up for you where you're going to have to take risks in some way and for some of you it is has something to do with this relocation or there's some sort of change like I said that is coming up you're going to have to decide which direction I'm going to go in what is going to be best for me best for me and my family and the beautiful part about this Taurus is that you have options that is the beauty in this is I have options yes I have decisions to make but I'm not forced to do one thing. I can make the best decision for me. I'm making progress. So you guys are leaving behind your comfort zone, okay, and planning out something new and grand. And it's something that you have definitely been waiting for. Let's pull some clarifiers around this. Four of Pentacles. This could be revolved around your money. Seven of Cups here, bottom of the deck. Five of Swords, you because you've been conflicted, and there has been there have been people around you too that has been stifling your growth. Okay, and we're not blaming this all on other people, but those people were a reflection so, of you, so that you can work through some of your challenges and some of your blockages, so that now you come out on the other side of this in this Empress energy. So there's going to be something that you're walking away from or making a decision to leave behind so that you can, your life can continue flourishing. For some of you, you may be walking away from a home. You may be purchasing a home elsewhere. You may be investing, like I said, initially with the four of pentacles here is, you know, investing into something that is, I'm feeling like a prized possession for you, but I, I feel like it's a prized possession because it's like, it's something that I did. It's like, I put my time and energy and I put my money into this or I put my efforts into this and now it's mine. Like I can claim this. You finally feel like you have something that is your own. Okay. So it, you're also in a position to save, to create security and stability, like I said, and you're moving out of a mindset of scarcity, of frugality. Um, and you're, you're stepping into this energy of, I feel material gain. The four of pentacles could be material instability, but I feel like you're gaining. And there's just, there's a lot I'm hearing. There's also a lot on the line, the seven of cups here. There's a lot of opportunities and choices that you have to make. And I feel like now that challenge comes up because it's now it's scary. And for some of you, I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling, um, an, an energy of scarcity when it comes to, uh, money and this could have been an old, old energy this could be an old energy that I'm picking up on it's like now you come into money because you've worked hard you're not sure that you want to spend it all you're not sure that you want to put it away you're not sure what to do because it's it's so much <laughs> I feel like it's an abundance of financial stability that you're not even clear about where to where to start how to spend it where to put it um, is it going to leave? Am I going to spend it too fast? It feels like there's a worry around finances, okay, when it comes to all of the things that you want to do because you've been wanting a lot of things. And now that you have the opportunity to have those things, it seems a little scary to you. And I totally understand that, okay? So there could be, you know, 
lots of temptations that you could be facing in your life as well and you probably can't see clearly, this is the time for you to stop to take a step back to get connected, get connected to yourself. Remember that connected to your support system as well. Get back in the high vibration because this is yours to keep. You are going to be the only person that messes this up, I should say. <laughs> you know, that's just in layman's term. Like, you, this, you're the, you, you would be the only obstacle in your way. So, you know, get the help that you need to create the financial security and that you, that you want and to be able to save and invest. But also, if you need to hire a spiritual advisor or a counselor, a therapist, whatever, to help you move past the blockage of your scarcity mindset, this is an opportunity to do it. And some of you may take that advice, you know, to move past this because things are looking up for you and you don't want to retreat back to the energy of the past that sort of left you stuck and stagnant and got you nowhere. Okay, so I do feel like there's an opportunity for you to take risk that's coming up for you um, to better your life in whatever way that looks financially, spiritually, emotionally, um, in relationships, it doesn't matter, okay? Your advice for the month, which was also kind of the advice is if you need to hire, you know, a professional to help you through some of the blockages and also to help you strategize where your money is going, that's a, that's a, that's a great tip for you okay four of pentacles is coming up as your advice so that's again building this building the security but because we pulled that four of pentacles as well you could be holding on to things so tight and when and I, I keep going back to money for you because that's what it feels like you have created a mindset of lack and limitation and scarcity for some of you and that is that could have been just birthed down to you from your parents. That could have just been in your ancestral lineage of like that money blockage. And so there's a fear that comes with having it and then losing it. Okay, you have it. When you haven't had it and then you get it, then you have a fear of losing it. So, okay, so that's what that's what I'm feeling. It's like this fear of loss that's coming up for you and you want to try to control situations. This is why I feel like some of you are needing um, assistance. You're needing like a facilitator or something to help you with this. And that facilitator could be like a financial planner, um, a financial advisor. It could be a helpful counselor, a spiritual counselor, advisor helping you through some of the blockages. You can also get... Um, you know, healings or whatever to help you work through some of these, peel back the layers of some of that, okay? Because it definitely feels like whatever this is, is past. Past life, childhood, the lovers. This could have been with a past partner as well. But this is also pointing to choices as well. So you're going to have to choose to move past this, to not hold on so tightly where you're actually pushing other things away or pushing people away. So make sure you're not getting in a place of what being guarded, being greedy, being stingy, being possessive, okay? Because I feel like some of you may have seen this before in your childhood and you're really trying to move past that. I'm feeling love and light coming from the lover's card. I'm going to pull one more. Page of, page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I do feel for some of you, there may be someone in your life already that may be assisting you through their love. Through the love that they have for you, they're helping you work through some of your things. And, and granted, you're, the two of you are in each one another's lives, or this could be a multiple people. You're in each other's lives to learn the lessons, to move past them, and then you need the love in order to move past them. So I feel like someone is providing, because this is also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, an emotional support, a love, a sense of uh, freedom for you. I know this is, we talk about nostalgia as well. I feel like they probably bring you back to moments in your life that felt beautiful and peaceful and you felt free. But I definitely feel like for, for you, there is someone that is helping you through moving past whatever these blockages that you may have. Okay. And some of you may just be stuck emotionally. It has nothing to do with money. You maybe you are financially well off. But emotionally, you feel stuck in some way. I do feel like this is an energy of someone helping you through this, Taurus. Okay? Gemini energy here in the center of this. But 
again, I feel like there's a lot of communication. There's a lot of communication. There's trust that's coming up. There's love. There's an energy of just um, of freedom, of curiosity, of knowing possibilities, of being happy and being able to dream again. Some of you stopped dreaming because you became an adult and life took over and you fell into this lack and limitation and the scarcity. And so you forgot how to dream. So I feel like this person helps you become more sensitive, more um, artistic, more creative, more inspired by life, whatever this, whatever you have been struggling with, I feel like they ground you in some sort of way. And I love this. So it, accept the support is what spirit is saying. Accept that. And I'm looking at this. Look, we have five, five, I mean, six, six here. Okay, so some of you are seeing 6-6. Six, six. The number 6-6 six, six is connected to artistry, creativity, love, connectedness. Um, it could be energies from the past, but I do feel like it's about memories and creating love and freedom um, for yourself. Okay, some of you are reconnecting with, you know, you could be reconnecting with someone from the past as well. Whatever this is, I feel like they're helping you move past this. Because some of you are holding on to something and this person is trying to break down the wall for you. Okay, so your final outcome is the moon, Pisces energy. A lot of Pisces energy going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let me pull some cards around this before I jump into this moon card. Why is the moon here for Taurus? Um, I'm hearing, yeah, someone's helping you get in touch with your softer side. Ace of Cups in the tower. So some of you could be in this place of feeling a level of insecurity, insecurity, fears could be coming up, things that were hidden are now coming to the surface, secrets, you know, truths revealed, whatever this is. And also for you, seeing the glass half full as well instead of the glass half empty. So I feel like there's a, a shift in perception that uh, you're undergoing as well. And this is the reason why the universe is opening up to you so beautifully. So some of you may have love, new love coming into your life with the Ace of Cups energy here. But this is an energy of you also being open, being open to love, being open to new relationships or opportunities, being compassionate, creative. Um, this is like a spiritual spark, really trusting your intuition as well. Okay, so that moon here, I feel like is an energy of you sort of um, coming out of the darkness, right? That's what that feels like to me. Like you're coming out of the dark and things are changing. Um, some of you have are having vivid dreams and fears that are coming up, wild thoughts and emotions and uh, around something, anxiety as well, self-doubt, where you feel like, you know, there's been a big chunk of your life where you have lost your way and you felt uncertain and um, sad, mad, you know, feeling like you are not being seen. Again, that person, someone in your life or someone coming into your life is helping you be seen. And I feel like there's a new a new perception develop where you begin to believe in something again, whether you're believing that you can make more money or believing that there is love for you or believing that you can move past um, some of your past experiences and traumas. Okay, because the tower here, there has been traumas, but I do feel like this is also a sudden change. Some of you are feeling uh, conflicted. You're feeling out of sorts because something is someone is helping you reveal something, face something. And this could be the person that you hire to help you through this. They're, they're revealing something to you that feels very uncomfortable, but I do feel like you're going to be changing your perception about your life as you begin to learn more and pour more love into yourself. Okay which is beautiful. So don't get scared about this tower here. I do feel like it's just a revelation that you're having and realizing like what I've been through doesn't define who I am. That's what this energy feels like to me, that I, I can pour into myself and people and, and, and I have the support. I have the love. But this is reminding me to remind you, Taurus, to be in gratitude. You have a very beautiful life if you can see past the circumstances, okay? So that is your reading. Please tap in. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this reading, if it resonates with you, if you like the style of the reading, if you want to change something up, you want to see more of something. Be sure to subscribe and hit the all notification bell. And 
Share this with your family and your friends. Enjoy the rest of your month. I know your birthday is coming up, Taurus. So happy early birthday here, as I know it's April 15th. But happy birthday, and I will see you guys for another reading very soon. Many blessings to you. Love and light, Taurus. Peace.